Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Wellington. And today, I'm starting the vlog. It's Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. It's been kind of a long week. I've been off and enjoying just some downtime. And today, two things. I'm recording on a new phone. I bought I got a new iPhone, I'm switching over, and um, I don't know, let's see how much better the quality is than on my old phone. So we're doing that. Uh, my niece Sarah was here yesterday, she stayed over for today, and then her mom, my sister-in-law, and her husband and son came down for a visit and to drop some stuff off, or we did an exchange, because I had some stuff for her, she had some stuff for me, and I thought I would show you what she brought me because I'm super excited. So I'm not sure if you're aware, familiar with Long and Burger baskets. Um, they were made here in Ohio. They don't make them anymore, I don't think. Um, but they were made about 45 minutes for me and they're all hand designed or hand created, I should say. So she brought me, oops, I'm sorry, Deb. I just clocked my poor cat in the head. A... Long and Burger Bell, and it sits on this wrought iron. And I think it's, I mean, this is definitely for the holidays, I would say. I'm gonna take it off its stand. So what's interesting is this was, it says Long and Burger Baskets, hand woven in Dresden, Ohio, uh, 2000 century celebration. I don't know. And there should be in here, yep, it was made in 2000. And if you look in there, that's the signature and the date of the person who hand wove this. Isn't that fun? Um, I don't know that I love the bow. It doesn't go with my colors. I mean, it's fine, but I might put a different bow on it. I don't know, we'll see. And I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it, but isn't that pretty? So she brought me this. It was all given to her and she didn't have a place for it. So she asked me if I would like to see if I have a place. And I do, I'm sure I'm putting it back in its box for storage, but the cat was in the box and it got a little twisted. And then, let's see, what is this? Oh, and this is the bow, the bag. So you must have been able to buy the bows separately. I don't really know, to be honest with you because um, I never collected Longenberger baskets. It just wasn't a thing I did. What's in here? And then in this one here, it is a snowman with two baskets in it, but it's a tear tray. How fun is that? And honestly, if I took the baskets out, I could put plates or saw like a flat surface and make it like a decorative tiered tray. But I probably will not do that. We can decorate inside the baskets. And this again is part of the Longenberger 2000, um, the Century Celebration. And that's who hand wove that basket. And I think it's so neat. I'm gonna switch out, I think, at winter time and put this on my um table was this the same person no and then somebody else made this basket and it has the christmas and then they come with like some of them come with plastic liners some did not these were just gifted to me i wonder if this person no this is uh, Iron Small Snowman. They call that small. I think that's pretty big. And then there's all these basket stuff in here. I don't really quite know what this goes to. It must go to a different basket. And then there's these booklets that come in as well. So I thought that was pretty fun. And I really feel like we could decorate this pretty fun for winter. Right? I mean, I know the baskets are red and green for Christmas, but I feel like the snowman could go into wintertime, so we're going to decorate that. So that was something that they brought down for me. They brought their dog, 
So I got to see little Storm. She's so cute. And Luna was here and the cats were here and we all visited and it was such a nice day. So yeah, it's Friday night. It's late. It's not late. It's like eight. Oh, seven thirty. It feels late. Um, yeah, so Sarah left about an hour ago and I'm going to put these baskets away. I'm not going to redo my tiered tray in the kitchen right now or the dining room. So I will do this for um, winter time. Tomorrow, I'll bring you along. We're going to clean my craft room because it's quite the mess. And I want to sew some things, but I don't want to get my sewing out until I clean up that craft room. All right, everybody. Well, this will be day one of the vlog. So I hope you enjoy. And I will chat with you in a little while. Bye. Good morning, everybody. It is... Saturday, I've got some coffee in my Ray Dunn. I finally found a Christmas Ray Dunn mug. Well, actually I have two now. I have this one and I have the one that has my cat on it. Have some peppermint mocha coffee. And we're doing some housework. Um, I had some company over yesterday. By company, I mean my niece and my sister-in-law and her husband and um, nephew. So I know that sounds weird, but um, sister-in-law, Julia, her, she was married to my brother and they had Sarah, my niece, and they, they're divorced and have been for many years, but she's still my sister-in-law and she's still Sarah's mom. Sorry, I look a little crazy. I have not even showered. I am in my pajamas. But I needed to get some housework done today. I want to clean up my craft room so I could... I have some crafts to do, but it's such a mess that I need to re reset everything. You know, kind of put what I've done away, get out some fresh. But anyway, so they stopped by yesterday for quick visit to drop some stuff off socially distance of course and they've been socially distancing Atticus he does school from home Julia works from home and I believe Aeneas is working from home but I'm not 100% on that so I got most of the house cleaned up last night but I'm still tidying up I want to do a house tour maybe tomorrow to video for the weekend or for my next week of my Christmas stuff. Once I get it all tidied, I'm cleaning out the cat water dish. It's a self-water, self-watering container. Um, the dogs were drinking out of it, which is fine, but the cats get a little mad or Alex gets a little mad. Wellington typically doesn't drink out of it too much. He prefers when I'm in the sink, he'll get up here and have water, but um, they're just a little, a little fussy that there's dog drool in their water dish. So um, yeah, and I had my, a glass of um, hot mold wine last night. I got this last year at Target Dollar Spot has a plastic lid and it's a insulated wine glass. So I heat up my wine in the microwave because I'm classy like that around here. And uh, I had a glass of wine last night. Let me get a towel real quick. Yeah, so I hand wash cups like that. I will tell you these little plastic dessert plates from a Dollar Tree are pretty decent quality. I had those out yesterday. I was just serving up some, um, you know, treats to everybody and like you do. They ordered pizza. So yeah, I've got all this stuff to put away. We had an accident. <laughs> Luna of all dogs had an accident. But I will tell you, not sponsored. Did not get this for free. This Resolve Spot and Stain Cleaner is amazing. So my older cat, 
I am a mess, guys. My older cat, Wellington, um, he throws up sometimes. Not fur balls, but his asthma. He throws up food, and it's gross. But this cleans it up really well off my carpet. And it's just Resolve 30-second action stain cleaner. So if you have pets or children and they spill things on your carpet, that works really well. You just spray it, let it sit for 30 seconds, and then I blot it up with a, usually I use a, a an old towel that I have, and then I wash them because it's a frequent enough occurrence. And he does see the vet for it. It's part of his asthma. Um, Cats with asthma, if you don't know, um, are phlegmy. He coughs up some phlegm sometimes, or he makes a lot of mucus in his throat, and he swallows it, gets in his stomach, and that upsets his stomach. So sometimes he can't digest his meals. So there's that. So I just need to clean up in here. Um, and then we're going to go up to the craft room and clean upstairs. Most of the house, like I said, down here is tidy. Just have a few things to pick up on the table, more paper plates and stuff. I don't typically use a lot of paper product. However, um, when I had company, it's just easier to pull out their Dollar Tree plates. So I need to put that away and wipe down the furniture and vacuum down here. And then this room is pretty, oh, my, I'm gonna clean this. <laughs> this is what I use to heat my wine up in the microwave. You know, it's, um, I get it the wine at Aldi. And it's a, it's just a bottle of mulled wine. Comes, I think, from Germany. It's a, it's amazing. I love it. Not, my whole family does not love it. Um, Sarah likes a mulled wine, but she likes hers more sweet. This wine I don't add anything to because of my diabetes and keto. So I just heat it up because I like it warm. It's good. So yeah, um, I can show you the bottle. I have it in my fridge. It's called Christico. I don't know what it's in German, but this is the wine that I get. It's a big bottle. I want to say it's nine dollars, but I could be wrong. And it says you can heat you heat it up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a full-bodied sweet German wine, um, and it has. It's red wine enhanced with cinnamon, clove, orange, and lemon peel. Now, I just have, you know, a glass of it, and it has a screw top. It's that fancy. Um, sometimes if I'm getting really fancy, I put um, a cinnamon stick in it. <laughs> or you can put some clove in it when you heat it up. You, if you're not keto, you could put some brown sugar in it if you like it more sweet. You could add orange to it. There's all kinds of things to do for um, a mulled wine, but I love it around the holidays. I need to go buy some before it's gone. Last year it went really fast. So I bought four bottles and those two actually are from last year. All right, I need to get dressed and get cleaning. Okay, it's still Saturday. It's 12, 8, Team. Got some Starbucks. I had to go pick up a prescription at the pharmacy. I had to print off some pictures for a DIY I'm doing for you later today. And I ran to the Dollar Tree. I needed a couple materials so I can do my Dollar Tree haul before I do my DIY. Because I got to show you the stuff before I use it. And then I need to, well, right now I'm going to Home Depot to get an item to make the DIY. Ooh, you can use um, Dollar Tree items for this thing that I'm making. I'm getting the dust off my car while I'm sitting here at a red light. But it's actually more cost effective for the product that I'm purchasing to get it at Home Depot um, hardware store. So I'm going to go there. And yes. And I might take some video while I'm in there if I can find the two items to show you. I mean, I know I can find one, but I'm not sure if they have the secondary item to show you. I'm really loving how this new camera is videoing. And, ooh, I'm going to need you not to be in two lanes. People shouldn't be in two lanes. Um, so, yeah, I'm getting the rest done. Today has been very productive. I've already, it's noon. 
I have already been up since six, cleaned my craft room office space because it is a disaster. Part of the reason I'm in a hurry, I'm not in a hurry, but I'm getting things done today is tomorrow, Sunday, I have to do a little log on to my work and do some extra work tomorrow or overtime in the morning. And so I'm trying to get everything done today, but I definitely wanted my room. So my office and my craft room are one and the same. I have a two desk situation. I have my work desk and then I have a table to craft at. I've showed you before, but I cannot work in there when it's a disaster zone. Now I didn't put everything away because I'm still doing Christmas crafting. And so it's everything that's out is materials that I'm using for the Christmas craft. So, um, yes, but I tidied it up, vacuumed, because I cut with, I cut some sequin fabric. Ooh, it got everywhere. So I cleaned all that up, wiped everything down, did some dusting so I can work in there, but I need to finish my quilt so I can have it to decorate with for Christmas. So I did this morning, after I cleaned up my office space, that was number one on my checklist to do today. Number two is I sandwiched the um, backing, the batting, and the quilt top. I've sandwiched all of that together and basted it to hold it while I quilt it. So today, when I get home, after I do this, I'm going to do the quilting because that'll just take about an hour and then that portion is done and I can just hand because I will hand sew on the um, binding to it like you care and like I know what I'm talking about this is my first quilt anyway my goal is to get that quilt portion done and so I can put my sewing machine away because I won't need that once I um do all the machine quilting and that just again cleans up cleans up another um, project off my list I've got little baskets all over with different projects in it that I need to do and I want to make videos on most of it so first step clean check second step run my errands almost check because I'm at the last stop and then home maybe I'll bring you along while I it's just literally sewing straight lines. I'm not quilting it fancy. I'm just, oh, that hurt. I'm just sewing straight lines because that's really what I know how to do. All right, let us, we're going to run into Home Depot, pick up a couple things that I need in here, nothing major. I will tell you though, while I'm coming in here that as much as I love Mod Podge for crafting, I'm really liking polyurethane as a sealer better. It just seems to be more long-term. Um, one of the projects I did, I needed to buy a can of it. So I have a fair amount and I will be using all of that today. So Mod Podge, there's one of the one of the materials you'll need. Mod Podge pictures, and then we'll show you in here when I do the DIY. What I'm getting at the Hobby Lot or at the Home Depot. All right, I'll be back. Hi guys, it is Sunday night. I'm home. I just got back from the zoo, and so I'm going to end this video with some highlights of the animals that we saw at the zoo. And I hope you enjoy and you have a good one. And I will talk with you later. Bye. Um, um.